So hi, hello once again. Welcome back everyone to the session. This is your mentor Kapil, and in continuation to the previous uh, session for clocks, it's going to be the clocks and reasoning uh, session two. So here we have some interesting questions in clocks. So let's get to know one by one how to solve it. Before getting into the session, let me just quickly introduce about myself. And my name is Kapil. I'm a mechanical engineer with three years of teaching experience. Field of management exams, and I've also converted various Indian Institute of Management. Okay, so if you personally like my videos and stuff, kindly don't forget to follow me on the An Academy Learning app with my user ID, and also, um, you know, uh, kindly follow is on the Telegram channel as well. Okay, and most importantly, when it comes to the social media platforms, kindly don't forget to join us on YouTube, An Academy Cat for MBA, and also our Telegram channel. So talking about the An Academy Plus subscription, you can use my promo code of KBI10 to get absolute 10% off. So that the final tariff for An Academy Plus subscription it's gonna be 15,750 for one year, and for two years it is 18,900. You can use my discount code KBI10 to get absolute 10% off. Okay, and also most importantly. Introducing the iconic CAT 2021 batch, the An Academy learners can crack CAT 2021 note uh, 21. Provided with the iconic batch, you have the personal mentors and proper test analysis and reports as well. And also, we concentrate for other management entrance tests as well. So not only for CAT but also for MAT, ZAT, SNAP, you know. Uh, C mark and all the other management related test net and all the other management related exams. Okay, so we'll be getting all the benefits of the plus included. Along with that, these things, these three things, along with the personal mentor expert, will also be provided with. Okay, so you'll be get you know get mentored with the graduates from the top B schools from IIM ABC, and also here we have the testimonials for CAT 2020 with flying colors. And if you aspire to be one, you could be next. So kindly attend our scholarship test, which is happening on the 28th of Feb, the time exactly at 12 p.m. So you can take it live and compete with the best. And also, you can see yourself where you stand in the All India Live Leader Board. The questions will be curated by the top experts, and also it will be you know you can able to identify and improve your weak areas with our detailed video solutions provided. Okay. So you can start registering now for free just by using my unlock code K B I one zero, and also you can win exciting scholarships up to this twenty eight lakhs of plus. Okay, so definitely this will be a nice opportunity for you as a uh, as an aspirant uh, to get to grab exciting prizes as well. Okay, and here we have the testimonials for CAT twenty twenty. So if you aspire to be one for the next year CAT 2021, you can start enrolling in our batches, which are starting from 19th of Feb, absolutely for the final revision batch for MBA and CET 2021, and 22nd of Feb it is the Striker batch for CAT 2021, and 23rd of Feb it is the Quantitative Genius batch for CAT 2021. Okay, so whatever batch is really flexible for you, we can start enrolling it, and also getting back to the sessions part. So last class we have done, I think, uh, yeah, we have done till the planet OZ, and we have got the answers as well. So in continuation to that, in part continuation to that, we'll be, um, you know, um, we'll try to do these questions now. So it is said that a watch gains twelve seconds every three hours. Okay, so in every three hours it gains twelve seconds. What time will it show at ten a.m. on Tuesday? If the watch is set right at 3 a.m. on Sunday, okay. Now listen carefully. The time is 3 a.m. Sunday, right? So from 3 a.m. Sunday to 10 a.m. Tuesday, I just want to find how much hours in between you have the time frame, right? So it's gonna be if it is 3 a.m. It is 3 a.m. Monday. It is 124 hours, and 3 a.m. Tuesday. It is again at 24 hours. So it's going to be 24 plus 24. From 3 a.m. you have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have plus 7. So if you try to add this up, you'll be getting 
eleven fifteen. So you have a total of fifty five horse. You have a total of fifty five horse, right? So if that is the case, we know the fact that in every in every three horse, it gains twelve seconds. Right. So if that is the case, then. In every fifty-five hours, it will gain how much? That's what you need to find first. Okay. So what you can exactly do? Let me take it as x. If you do cross multiplicate, it will be x is equal to fifty-five into twelve divided by three. And most importantly, what you need to remember here. So we know that the clock gains are uh, twelve seconds in every three hours. That is, if you if you try to see this, what I can exactly do here in every three hours, if it gains twelve seconds, then every in every one hour, this will gain three seconds. No, this will gain four seconds per hour, right? In every one hour, the clock will gain four seconds. Then at every fifty-five hours, this will gain fifty-five into four. You do, you'll be getting two twenty seconds, right? If that is the case, then they simply said the time is ten a.m. Tuesday, right? So if I want to convert this two twenty seconds in minutes, try to do this. This will be exactly twenty-two divided by six. You do, you'll be getting six threes or eighteen. Eighteen and three, so it's gonna be ten three minutes so it's gonna be ten three minutes and forty seconds that's it that's it so the answer it's gonna be ultimately option d the time actually. What it displays will be ten hours three minutes and forty seconds. That's it. Okay. So uh, with that, let's go for the next question for today's session. Come on. For each hour, a watch is going slow by thirty seconds. Now the time is eight a.m. Okay. For each hour, the watch it goes slow by. So in every hour, it goes slow by thirty seconds. Right. The time is now 8 a.m. When the clock is set right, what will be the time in watch when the actual time is 8 p.m.? Okay. So from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. you have a total time of 12 hours. So in in one hour it displays 30 seconds means you know it it, it displays 30 seconds slow. Yeah, it is going 30 seconds slow. Then. In twelve hours, how much seconds slow it back to? So it's gonna be twelve into thirty. If you do, it will be three sixty seconds slow. And if at all, if I want to break this out in minutes, so three sixty divided by sixty, you do this would be exactly six minutes slow, right? So if the time is eight p.m., then the time that will be displayed in the clock will be. 8 p.m. With that, if you try to, you know, with that, if you try to subtract six minutes, this will be exactly 7:54. Yes, that's it. So the answer is going to be option two. 7:54 p.m. will exactly be the right answer for this question. Okay.
All good. Let's go for the next one, guys. Come on. So this is one interesting question. So my flight takes off at 2 a.m. from a place at 18 degree north, 10 degree east and landed 10 hours later at a place with coordinates 36 degree north, 7 degree west. So what is the local time when my plane landed? That's my question. Okay. Very interesting question. Come on, just try to do this guys. So we'll better try to approach this. Yeah. So listen carefully, guys. I know the fact that my flight takes off at 2 a.m. from a place 
so uh, the local time it varies only with the longitudes so what we really need to understand is the local time it only varies with the longitudes right so if that is the case if you take an earth so here we have the longitudes so if if it is the country like india here we have a you know gst plus five half 30 uh five and a half hours here so it will be varying with each and every longitudes okay so definitely it will be varying with each and every longitudes and they have clearly given that you know the flight it traveled from 10 degree east to right Seventy degree west. So first of all, we should not take this, uh, you know, um, latitudes into account. So longitudes. If you really want to calculate the longitudes, we need to take the east and west degrees. Okay, this should not be taken into account. So the flight it it traveled from ten degree east to seventy degree west. So let's say something like here. It traveled from east to west. Okay, and we know the fact that. You know the time it changes because of the latitude changes right so time changes exactly because of the latitude being changed you know uh sorry not latitude longitude changes okay so what we can simply do first of all if you try to find the longitudes here so how much you'll be having 70 plus 10 it's gonna be 80 degree longitudes right so we'll be having 80 degree longitudes so the time change changes it because of the longitude being changed. So if that is the case, 80 degree into 4 if you do, you'll be getting exactly 320 minutes. 320 minutes is nothing but 5 hours, 20 minutes. Right, if I try to convert this 320 minutes into hours. So what you can simply do, for each latitude, for each degree, you need to multiply into 4. So for 80 degree longitude, you, you multiply it into Four, so that you'll be getting three or twenty minutes, and they have clearly said the time at eight degree north, ten degree east. You know, after ten hours of journey, right? After ten hours of journey, this will be two a.m plus 10 hours if you do you'll be getting 12 pm right you'll be getting 12 pm because the flight traveled towards you know towards the west from east the local time at you know the local time at 36 degree north and 70 degree west this would be 12 pm minus 5 hours 20 minutes what we have found in the longitudes minus 5 hours 20 minutes if you see this would be exactly 6.40 a.m. That's it. So the answer for this question is going to be option D. 6.40 a.m. will be the right answer for this question. Okay. So they have clearly said and landed 10 hours later. No? So we'll better try to with this 12 to a.m. If I try to add 10 hours, I will be getting 12 p.m. And if I try to simply subtract the 5 hours 20 minutes. Right. Why? Because it is traveling from east to west. From east to west means definitely there would be a save of this 5 hours 20 minutes. Okay. But if it is traveling from west to east, you need to add this 5 hours 20 minutes. That's what the, uh, you know, thing we need to do really. I hope it is clear for everyone. Yeah. Better go for the next question guys. Come on. Yeah. So this is one very simple question.
Hi Uday, welcome to the live chat. So what is the angle between the two hands of a clock when the time is 8.30? If the time is 8.30, you need to exactly find what is the angle between the two, uh, you know, two hands. That is the minute hand and the hour hand. Come on. Try to do this, guys. So, you know, uh, for this question, if you really want to find the answer, we have one standard formula to find the degree, the angle, right? That is modulus of 11 by 2m minus 30h. This is what the formula that we have. So, if you simply try to substitute in the formula, you'll be getting 11 by 2m is nothing but 30 minutes minus 30 into horse is nothing but 8. Right? So if you try to do this, this will be exactly, this will go 15 and you will be getting 165 minus 240. So if that is the case, the angle will be exactly be getting minus 75 but if you try to apply the modulus it will become plus okay so the answer it is undoubtedly 75 degrees is the angle between the minute hand and hour hand exactly when the time is at 8 30 right go for the next question then beautiful come on So this question, sometime after 10 p.m. a murder took place. A witness claimed that the clock must have stopped at the time of the shooting. Okay. It was later found that the position of both the hands were the same, but their positions had interchanged. Fine. So what they are talking about, the hands, what they are talking about is not the hands of a person. It, the, it is the hands of a clock. Yeah, they're talking about the minute and hour hands. So you need to tell the shooting, you know, tell the time of shooting, both actual and claim. Okay. So what are we gonna exactly do here? Come on, guys, just go for a give it a try for this question. Sounds to be an interesting one. So here, if you see, um, you know, the witness, he claimed that the clock must have stopped at the time of shooting, right? And it is also given that the positions of both the hands were same, but their positions had interchanged.
and uh, we know exactly that the time of murder the time of murder it has been mentioned it is 10 pm right so that is the case 10 pm in the night right so the clock must have stopped at 10 pm and they clearly said the positions of the you know hands had been interchanged their positions had been interchanged So, if at all, if I want to go for a constraint, both hands were near, actually, okay, if at all, if both hands were near, 10, if at all, if both hands were near 10, that is, you can take 11 or 12, right? You can probably take 11 or 12 and if I take if it if it was if it was uh, you know if it was 10 55 p.m. If it was 10 55 p.m. then the climb time will be worked out if it interchange the climb time will be 11 50 if I'm not wrong right why because this is the only position where the minutes and our hands have actually interchanged their positions if you try to see this now for example let me take an analog clock for you so that it will be much more clear for you let's say this is 12 11 10 and 9 One, two, three, six. Now listen carefully. Let's say if the time is 10.55, this would be probably where. If it is 10.55, then probably the minute in the hour hand will be more tilted towards 11 and probably the minute hand will be slightly towards okay so if that is the case maybe they both will be on same pace as well the slight difference will be there for the minute hand and hour hand if if it is what if it was 10 55 pm only the claim time if you see the claim time it is 11 50 11 50 means then exactly the hour hand would be straightly tilted towards uh you know um 11 and the minute hand that you see it will be here so this is the, this is the exact time the, out of the given options if you see it is 10 55 and 11 this would be the exact time where the positions of the hands were same but the minute hand position is being interchanged with the hour hand and hour hand position is being interchanged with the minute hand okay so probably just by going with the options after 10 pm i would say it is 10 55 and 11 50 will be the most flexible option for me okay so if at all if you take the first option that is 10 50 10 50 means it will be slight more inclined the hour hand will be slight more inclined towards 11 and the minute hand will be straightly pointing towards 10 but 11 55 11 55 you see the hour hand will be fully you know um, the minute hand will be fully inclined towards 11 so it is it is not interchanged but only in this case that is an option three the minute hand and hour hand it interchange the position maintaining the positions approximately the same okay you're getting this all good let's go for the next one guys come on
So the next question, the quarter of the time from midnight to present time, added to the half of the time from the present to the midnight, gives the present time. Okay. So your question is, what is the present time? A very tricky question. We first need to decode the question. Understand and decode the question. And then later, try to do the solution. Yeah. So come on, go for it guys. What would be the flexible option for this? So listen carefully, if at all, if I try to understand the question here, the quarter of the time, right? to the present time, right? first of all, we need to decode this, this term, the quarter of the time from midnight. present time and the half of the time from present to midnight gives the present time so what is the present time you need to find so first of all listen very carefully what i simply do here let the present time be x let me take the present time be x and what i do then time from midnight that is 12 am yeah, the time from midnight, if I take the present time to be x, then the time from midnight, it will be x ops, right? It will be x ops. This is actually the time from midnight. Let's say, uh, for example, let's say if my time, present time is 6 a.m. Then the time from midnight, it will be 6 hours, right? So that's what I said. So the time from midnight, it will be x ops. And how about this quarter of this time? This word. The quarter of this time will be x by 4 ops. If I'm not wrong. So the quarter of this time, that is, I'll, I'll write it here, that is quarter of this time. So what they have said, the difference between the midnight, that is 12 a.m. to the present time. So the difference between the midnight, that is 12 a.m. to the present time, it will be 12 minus x. Half of this difference will be 12 minus x by 2. Right? Is added to half of the time from the present, you know, present to midnight. Gives a present time. Right? So it is half of the time from present to midnight. So it is time from the present, it is x. To midnight will give you the difference divided by 2. So we have got two equations now. So what we can simply do here. So it is actually the difference between the midnight that is 12 a.m. to present it is 24 minus x right. So it's going to be 24 minus x. So if you try to find equation that is x by 4 plus is added so you need to add this both equations 24 minus x by 2 will give you the present time x that's it very simple right so if that is the case then it's going to be x plus twice of it right so we'll be getting 48 minus 2x is equal to 4x then it would be 48 is equal to 3x no not 3x it's going to be 5x right 
going to be 5x. So x is equal to 9.6 half. You got the value of x to be 9.6 half. So the present time is 9.6. 9.6 is nothing but 6 by 10 you do, this will be 36. So it's going to be 9.36 pm. That's it. So the answer, it is option C. 9.36 pm is the present time. Okay. So first of all, let me try to again decode the question and give you the solution for this. Listen carefully. The I took the present time to be xx, x, x actually, and uh, the time from midnight, it will be x hours, right? So the quarter of the present time from midnight. So the time from midnight is x hours. And then quarter of it will give you x by 4 hours, right? And it has been added to the half of the time from the present time to midnight. So this is important. From the present time to midnight. <coughs> so which means present time is x to midnight. So let's say if, uh, if at all, if my time is, uh, let's say if I take 6, am from the present time to midnight if i try to find what will be the time what will be the hours what you can simply do simply subtract this 20 24 but from you know 6 am from 24 hours if you try to do this you'll be getting 80 hours so that's what i did my present time is x hours so from x am or x pm whatever the case may be if i try to subtract it from 24 so this will give you present to midnight so from present to midnight, that is 24 minus x, half of it, so divided by 2. It gives you the present time x. So if you try to add these two, then you'll be getting the value of x to be exactly 9.6. So 9.6 is nothing but 9, 6 by, you know, 60, or 6 by 60, 9 into uh, 6 into 60 you do, you'll be getting 9.36. So it's going to be 9.36 <coughs> pm exact. That's it. Okay. All good? Let's go for the next one, guys. Come on. So here in this question, a clock is so placed that at 12 noon, its minute hand points towards northeast. Okay. In which direction does it or hand point at 1.30 p.m.? That's your question. So you are here you have the faulty analog clock which it is placed in such a way that in 12 noon its minute hand it points towards northeast. So if at all if I want to depict it in the picture. Listen carefully. So let me take this to be the clock. Let's say this is north, this is south, this is east, and this is west. So exactly here in the middle, here in the middle, here in the middle, and here in the middle, this will be northeast, this will be southeast, this will be southwest. And this will be northwest. Okay, listen carefully. So it is very clear that if this is northeast, then here it will be my 12 o'clock. Then here it will be <clears throat> my 3. Here it will be 6. And here it will be 9. If I'm not wrong. Right. So if that is the case, then exactly it should be 1 here. Here, four, five, six, 
सेवन एट टेन एंड इलेवन सो क्लॉक इज बीन स्लाइटली टिल्टेड ओके सो आई नो एग्जैक्टली नाउ इफ दिस इज माई सेंटर पॉइंट द क्लॉक द टाइम इज एट ट्वेल्व नून ओके इफ इट इज एट ट्वेल्व नून आई नो डैम श्योर बोथ माई Or hand and minute minute hand will be pointing towards twelve, so that my minute hand it points towards northeast. Now they are asking you in which direction does the or hand will point when the time is exactly at one thirty. If the time is one thirty, so listen carefully, guys. Let me rub this you know this part. If the time is exactly at one thirty. If it is thirty, means definitely my minute hand will be pointing here. This will be my minute hand, and if it is one thirty, one thirty means the hour hand will be exactly in the middle of one and two, right? So I would say. The hour hand will be exactly pointing towards east. That's it. So if the time is exactly at one thirty p.m., the hour hand will be exactly pointed towards east. That's it. Okay. Just by doing it figuratively, then you can able to understand much better, right? So let's go for the next one, guys. Come on. So three clocks were set to two time. <coughs> Fast runs with exact time. Second slows one minute per day, and third gains one minute per day. Okay. And after how many days will they show true time again? That's one interesting question. Come on. Try to do this, guys. Come on. So let's just try to do this. Yeah. So here you have all the three clocks which were set two to time, and you know the fact that the clock one it is absolutely runs perfectly. It shows exact time in all uh, ways. And clock two, when it comes to clock two, it slows one minute per day, right? So clock two, it slows one minute per day. and when it comes to clock 3 it gains 1 minute per day okay all good they are they are asking you after how many days will they show two time again so it's been set up now right now so for all if i want to find this the all the three clocks will show the two time when one faulty clock this one let's say clock 2 which loses one minute per day will be 12 hours behind correct time right so if that is a case 
This will be behind 12 hours. The correct time. And one faulty clock. That is a clock 3. Which gains 1 minute per day. Will be 12 hours ahead of the time. Right. So this will be 12 hours behind the correct time. And this will be 12 hours ahead of the correct time. So what I can simply do, if I want to find what total minutes in 12 hours, this would be 12 into 60 you do, you will be getting 720 minutes. So you have 720 minutes in 12 hours. So if at all if I want to find this, then definitely it would be the number of days required will also be 720 days. That's it. So the answer is going to be option 3. So kindly remember, you know, listen carefully guys. What you really need to understand here is, no, the clock, faulty clock, clock 2. This is, if it loses 1 minute per day, it is actually 12 hours behind the correct time. If it wants to, uh, you know, show again a true time with respect to clock 1, this would take 12 hours behind. Like in the same way, if you go for faulty clock, clock 3, it gains 1 minute per day means, then it will be 12 hours ahead of the correct time. So if that is the case, then if at all, if I want to find how much minutes, it will be total minutes in 12 hours, it will be 720 minutes. I know the fact that it loses 1 minute per day. So for 720 minutes, it would take 720 days. Like in the same way, it gains 1 minute per day. So for 720 minutes, it would again take 720 days. Answer it is undoubtedly options. That is 720 days, right? Very important. Next question. We'll go for this. Try to get me the answers, bro. So this question at 6 o'clock, clock ticks 6 times, okay? The time between the first and last tick was 30 seconds. Okay? So within a time span of 30 seconds, 6 times it happens. 6 ticks happens, okay? So how much time it takes at 12 o'clock? That's the question.
so if at all let's say if this is the first tick second third fourth fifth and sixth so you have a total of six ticks actually at six o'clock right at six o'clock you have a total of six ticks so there are you have total of five time intervals one two three four and five and you know the fact that the total time taken the total time taken it is 30 seconds so i can you know definitely say that the time taken between any two consecutive texts right let me write here that is the time taken between any two consecutive texts this would be you have a total uh, total of five intervals so 30 by 5 if you do this will exactly give you six seconds so six seconds is the time taken between any two consecutive ticks right similarly if you go for the time when it is at 12 o'clock 12 o'clock so what do you need to simply do if it is for six o'clock you have five intervals then if it is for 12 o'clock you'll be having 11 intervals that's it did you get this for six o'clock you have five intervals then logically for 12 o'clock you'll be having 11 intervals so in one interval it takes six seconds then for uh, 11 intervals then definitely it would be 11 into 6 if you do So one interval takes six seconds means for 11 interval 11 into 6 if you do this will be 66 seconds right so definitely the answer would be option 2 66 seconds the total time it takes at 12 o'clock for the ticks to happen it will be 66 seconds that is for uh, 6 o'clock 6 times means 12 o'clock it will be 12 times with 11 intervals one interval takes six seconds means 11 intervals will take 66 seconds that's it fair enough yeah let's go for the next one guys come on So a watch which gains 5 seconds in 3 minutes was set, you know, it gains 5 seconds in 3 minutes. So in every 3 minutes, it gains 5 seconds. Was set right at 7 a.m. In the afternoon of the same day, when the watch indicated quarter past 4 o'clock, that is the time is 4.15 p.m. What is the true time? That's your question. So listen carefully. It was the watch was set at 7 a.m. Set right at 7 a.m. The time from 7 a.m. to 4:15 p.m. If you see, right? So it's gonna be nine hours 15 minutes. So we'll be having nine hours 15 minutes. And if at all, if you try to break this 15 minutes also with the uh, horse, this would be exactly 37 by 4 or the time frame between 7 a.m. to 4 15 p.m., right? And what I can literally say here is 3 minutes, 5 seconds of this clock, this 40 clock will be equal to 3 minutes in current clock. Right, so if that is the case, then if I want to convert this three, uh, 3 minutes and 5 seconds in horse, right, then this would be exactly 
just simply multiply first of all convert this three minutes and five seconds into a horse if you, you know minutes if you convert five into 60 this will give you Three hundred. So, if at all, if you convert this complete thing into hearts, this will exactly give you thirty-seven by seven twenty hearts. In this clock, will be equal to. If you convert this three minutes, so it will be exactly one by twenty hearts in the correct clock. So then, definitely thirty-seven by four hearts in this clock will be equal to what actually? So it's going to be 1 by 20 into 720 by 37 into 37 by 4. That's it. So 37, 37 goes out. So this could be exactly 180. So this would be exactly 9 hours. Right. So 9 hours in this. So 9 hours 15 minutes in a normal, you know, in a faulty clock is 9 hours in this clock. So if the time is 4.15 p.m., then the correct time is exactly... 4 p.m. That's it. So the answer is absolutely 4 p.m. will be the true time display. Okay, that's it. Fine, guys. Let's go for the next one. Then come on. What's going to be the right answer for the next one? So at what time between 5 and 6 o'clock or the hands of clock 3 minutes apart? That's a question. So let's try to do this question. So in this type, if you see, they're asking you, what time between five o'clock and six o'clock, the answer to clock or three minutes apart. Right, so if that is the case, In this type, we can use the formula that is 12 by 11 into 5 hearts plus or minus the time. Okay. So here, H is replaced with the first interval of the given time and T is spaces apart. T is how much the spaces apart. Then given that H is 5, so it would be 12 by 11 into 5 into 5 plus or minus the spaces apart is 3 minutes. That's it. So if we try to do this, We'll be getting 12 by 11 into 25 plus or minus 3. So this would give you two ways. That is 12 by 11 into 28. Or it's going to be or 12 by 11 into 22. So if you do this, this would be 
24 minutes and this would be 336 by 11 minutes so therefore the hands will be 3 minutes apart at 336 by 11 minutes or 24 minutes that is 24 so it's going to be past 5 so i can definitely rule out these two so the most flexible answer for me is to be past 5 that is 5 336 by 11 minutes undoubtedly okay Achha. all good guys so with this we are coming to the end point of today's session and i hope this session is useful for everybody so uh, if you really like my session kindly you can use my discount code kbi10 and get an absolute 10 percent off and don't forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon of our youtube channel and academy cat for mta and also our telegram channel signing off with this Check Oh, I don't know this to do Thank mm -hmm. you.